So let's take a look now at the advantages and the disadvantages of trading the equities and the indices. So there are various great key advantages that we can use. The first one is the rates that you get of return on your investment massively beat the bank rates. So those of you that are in the UK, the current bank rate at the time of making this video is 0.75%. And you can get a much greater yield on your investments with stocks, if you know what you're doing, of course, uh, from then what the bank rates will actually provide you. So the second key advantage, you're buying an asset. Remember that. So because you're buying an asset, it is safe. It's almost like buying a house, for example, because when you buy a house, of course, it's physical bricks and mortar, and that is a safe investment. So this is a safe investment. Finally, this is much better in terms of a dividend yield. You see, the dividend yield that you'll get from buying various stocks will vary from stock to stock, but of course, it will give you a dividend yield. And on that dividend yield, you pay less than, or I shouldn't even say less than, it depends on the country that you're in, but for the UK, 0%. UK tax. So what are the disadvantages then of trading with equities and indices? So the first disadvantage that I can think of immediately is leverage and margin, right? So these are leverage and margin products. You need to have enough margin, of course, to buy stocks. And specifically for stocks, you actually will find that you need much greater amounts of uh, capital invested uh, because the leverage tends to be less for stocks especially for CFDs, which is a type of vehicle you can use to trade. So the leverage uh, and the margin is a lot less. What are the other disadvantages of trading the equities and the indices market? Well, one of the big ones is volatility. We find there are a lot more gaps that take place in stocks. So that's, of course, not ideal for you, if, especially if you're trading short term and you have a stock in place. There's a, very ch there's a chance, of course, that you can get gapped above your stock and that's not ideal. And that's because of the gaps that occur. Let's now talk about uh, the final disadvantage, which of course is relevant particularly for equities, which of course is insider trading. So insider trading, uh, there are so many different types of insider trading that you can get. Uh, when I did the research, you, it's, it's unbelievable actually how many different types there are. But the essence of it is that someone finds out some kind of information and leaks it out to the general public. And this, of course, causes gaps in stock prices to occur. Uh, and of course, that ties in with the previous disadvantage that we spoke about. So not ideal um, because they're smaller markets. There isn't as much liquidity. Uh, so they are prone to gaps and insider trading. We trust you enjoyed our Traders Education Center tech video. To unlock the full tech modules for free, click on the link below and hit the subscribe button. Then go ahead to register with your contact details and create your unique username and password to enjoy the fully unlocked tech modules.